Hi everyone, this is Peter. Now as some people will know, Twitter have changed their rules regarding API calls. So you don't really need to know what that means, but you do need to realise that that has some knock-on effects for how we use Twitter, especially when we're embedding timelines or buttons into our Moodle pages. So in this short video, I'll be looking how we can embed timelines and buttons into Moodle. It's really easy and it'll just take a couple of minutes. So as you can see, I'm using Firefox and I have my sandbox open and I have Twitter open in two different tabs. So in Twitter, I can come into the settings. So from this little cog in the top corner, I can go into settings and there's a lot of different settings that I can look for, but I'm particularly interested in widgets on the left hand side. When I click that, I can see some widgets that I've already created. And uh, we're going to create a new one. And we get some of the familiar options to, to customize this. We get uh, we can create a widget timeline based on four different things. So either a user timeline, that might be all the tweets that I've made. We could select the favorites option, which would display all of one person's favorited tweets. So this, in my instance, is showing all the tweets that I've favoured, I've favourited, sorry, in the in the past, God knows how long. If I wanted to, I could create a list of users, so maybe all the students that are on one particular unit, um, like this, and display their tweets. Um, or I could also uh, do a timeline based on a search term. So you may um, introduce a hashtag for your unit. Or, or that this is an example of a corgi and it will show some tweets that use the hashtag corgi. So it's, it's really straightforward. I'm going to use a user timeline and it will automatically put my username in. So that's great. I can edit the height if I wanted to. Um, I can change the theme so it's a light or a dark theme. I think given the Moodle template that we have, the light theme would probably fit in best. We can change the link color if we want. So as you can see here, the links appear in blue and that's probably a, quite a, a reasonably nice uh, contrast. So that's fine. Now the important thing that we need to notice here is the domains. And this is the main difference from the previous ways of, um, of using these samples, these uh, timelines. So what we would need to do is insert the Moodle domain. So it will be moodle.mmu ac.uk and that's all we need to do in order for this to work if we click create widget it will give us a preview on the right still uh, remember I changed the colors of the links to this pinky purpley color and there's all of the HTML I need so I can copy that you don't necessarily need to understand what that means and um, but you just need to know that it's a bit of code that does all the magic so at this point I can flip back over to Moodle I'm into my sandbox, so I'll switch everything on. Now the Moodle timeline is probably best suited to be in a block on the right hand side. And it's really easy for me to do this. I can come down to blocks and add a new HTML block. And I have the new HTML block here. So if I edit that, I can give it a, block, a title. So I will call it um, Peter's Twitter feed. Now this is the regular HTML editor. We can't paste the text in straight away because the editor will think it's just regular text. What we need to look for is this toggle HTML source button, it's the two arrows. If we click that, it'll deactivate the rest of these buttons and it'll just give me this plain HTML editor. I can paste in either Control V or I can right click and click paste. And it'll put all of that content straight in there. If I click save changes, I can turn that thing off and we'll see what happens there are all of my tweets so it's really easy to do the one other thing I wanted to touch on is buttons so I can go back home in Twitter and this time we can go into resources and we get Lo information about the logos but the buttons is quite handy we can create four different buttons either to share a link to follow a user to tweet a hashtag or mention somebody and again we get the same different options and the code that we can copy and paste into Moodle so it's really easy get in touch if you need any help